Hey everyone, so I'm back with another tutorial. This is probably the one everyone's been waiting for, which is how to get hand tracking into Unreal Engine 4 for the Oculus Quest. But before we do that, I'm going to do a shout out to Ryan Schaefer. Schaefer? Uh, sorry for butchering the name if I did, if I did that. But um, So Ryan's developed a plugin for Unreal Engine 4.24.1 which works only with the Oculus Quest version, uh, the Oculus Source version of Unreal. So you need to download that for this to work. It's not going to work with the editor project. So if you've got the Ed Epic Games launcher, this isn't going to work with that. So if you want to get this working, I'll put a note on the video and a link in the description of where you can see a video on how to install Oculus from Source. Uh, this version to be specific using Visual Studio. So once you've got that and you've got all the Android stuff set up, we can pretty much start building this. Okay, so this is the Oculus version of Source. We're going to go back. So I'll leave, leave a link in the description for Ryan's plugin from GitHub. So we're just going to go back to that. We're going to hit clone and download and we're just going to download as a zip file. This is just so I know where it is. So from there, see, so we're just going to hit save doesn't take too long. Then we're going to open the folder and we're going to extract it. So we want to extract this file from the folder. Do that. You can see I've already done it, but it doesn't hurt. So let's just keep this organized. I don't know where it is. So you can see here, once we've got it extracted, we can open it up and we've got this file here. What I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to copy the folder quest hands folder from plugins just to the clipboard and I'm going to go to my version of Unreal so I have it installed on local disk in Unreal Engine I'm going to go in there I'm going to go through it I'm going to go to engine plugins and then in here we're just going to paste it so paste the plugin and drop it in so that's pretty much it for this so we've got the quest plugins enabled or it's at least in the engine. So now all we've got to do is go to Visual Studio and load up Unreal. I'm going to hit F5 on the keyboard. That will load it up. This may take a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes depending on how long it takes your machine to do it. But after adding the plugin, it takes a little bit longer. Excellent. So now we've got that. I'm just going to do Games. We're going to select Virtual Reality. Next. We just want to set quality to scalable 3D and 2D. And then desktop console to mobile. So I'm going to go, so I've got a folder for the Oculus Quest. So I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it hands or hand tracking task tutorial. Cool. Select that folder. We've got, call it hand tracking and create a project. Now I just need to wait for this to load up. Shouldn't take too long, should be pretty quick. Awesome. So we got that. What we need to do now is go to edit, plugins, and then with plugins open, just hit the top. So we've built, built in, and we're gonna search hands, or hands. And then you'll get quest hands. You just need to enable that, and then restart now. This is all pretty quick, it doesn't take too long to sort out. Cool, so we've got that. What we're gonna do now is, so what we need to do is go to edit, project settings. We can't do maps and, we can do maps and modes actually. So we're gonna change this to quest hands test. If you don't see it here, so I'll change it. If you don't see it here, you need to go down to your content browser. So I'll move it up to your content browser and then view options and make sure show engine content and show plugin content is enabled. And then that'll give you all these files which will be in here. So just down on the left, we've got quest hands content. So that's the folder where your map is. Uh, you can actually load that up. Okay. So let's load. And you can see we've got the, the, full, the file open or the level. But what I need to do now is we need to make sure that we can actually build to the quest. So I'm just going to go through and set this up so you can build. 
Okay, so all I've done is go on the packaging, exclude editor content when cooking, and then we're going to go down to Android. In here, we're going to hit config now. And we're going to change this to 25. And 25, so minimum SDK version and target SDK version, both 25. Uh, package game inside of APK. Uh, why not? Make it one file. Then we need to scroll down, remove Oculus signature file from distribution APK. Make sure this is set to Oculus Quest. So you just want package for Oculus mobile device, Oculus Quest. So we've done that. So we've got Oculus Quest enabled, remove signature files. What we need to do now is actually go down to the Oculus VR plugin. And then we're going to need to use late latching, but we need multi view and Vulkan for this to be working. So we're going to enable that. So what we can do is we have to launch Oculus Performance tab, and you can see we've got enable multi view here. We're going to do that. We're going to ignore config Android packaging. It sometimes breaks when I use that. So I'm going to close that. Then we're going to go to Android, and I'm going to switch from support ARM 64. And Vulcan, so ES3 to Vulcan. I find that these two work pretty well together. We double check Oculus VR, we've got late latching. Cool. So all we need to do now is restart the editor. So that should be it for then. What you need to do is make sure your quest is connected to your computer. And you can do that just by making sure everything's set up properly. Cool. So once you do that, you'll hit launch and you'll see your quest here. Go to project launcher. Uh, we're going to select from the, we're going to go to advanced, select the drop down by the book, and then we're going to launch the project. If you're not sure how to do all of this, I've built another tutorial which I'll link. So it shows you how to set up Unreal, uh, build the project to request, and then how to optimize as well. So I'll put them both in here, and then it'll be. Should be enough to get you started. Excellent. So that took just over 10 minutes on my machine. Um, what we need to do now is you see how it says launching on Android. So I'll just go here. Which means it's actually viewable in the headset. So what you want to do is put the headset on. I'm going to set it up to screen capture. Excellent. So I'm recording video within the headset now. Uh, you can see this. So you can see on the screen it doesn't actually show anything. It says enable ball in the camera. So you can see your hands, but they're not doing anything. So what we need to do is go to the main menu, go to settings, use hands, and then you can see that's swapped over. We can go to resume. Give it a second. So I put my hands behind my back so there's no input. Can't see them. And then alright, now brought it back. So once you first connect it, if it's lagging out, put your hands behind your back and then it'll sort of jump back in and pick up. So you can see we've got our hands. We can pinch to interact with the widget. And we've also got a cube on the desk, my actual desk in the way, which we can pick up. I'm really close to my bound so where it's flying up. So what I'm gonna do actually is to finish the build on the PC, if we use the menu, hit the trigger, we're just going to quit. And then I can unplug it. I can move a little bit further into my room and then go to library. Unknown sources, which is where I'll put it. Okay, so we've got hand tracking and then hand tracking cut. I believe I called it hand tracking cut. Either way, just give it a second to load up. Do the same thing, we're going to settings, use hands, and you see we've got our hands in quest. And hit restart. And then we've got our hands. So, pinky, middle, and up. So we've got our hands, and then we're all touching. Just Super awesome. So I can hold them out, so I can pinch fingers to interact with widgets. 
which is pretty cool. And then we can even pick up physics objects. Oh, oh, oh. So pretty cool. It's an awesome place to start. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this since we've already done. I'm going to move that to the side. What I'm going to do is open up the motion controller map. So for the motion controller, edit project settings. I'm going to set this so when the project loads, it's just the motion controller map. And then I'm going to show you how to put the character in here. So it should be pretty simple. All you've got to do is delete the one in the main game or the template. On the left, scroll down to Ham. I keep losing it. I'll do this quest Ham. It's a big one, it's open. All right. So once you get quest Ham's content, go to Blueprint and we're just going to drag in the main character. I'm going to put him pretty close to physics objects. Excellent. So we've got the character in the scene, he's on the floor. What we're going to do is we're going to raise him up by 20 units or just a little bit off the floor. This is just to make collision and detection of the hands a bit easier. Uh, what we need to do now is go on the right hand side. So you're going to go to your details panel for your pawn. And we're going to select auto possess player and we're going to set player zero. We're then going to scroll down. Uh, we're in collision. We've got update overlap methods during level streaming. We're not using level streaming, but I find it doesn't hurt to put this on anyway. So we're going to do always update. Then we carry on scrolling down. You can see we've got the actor and then spawn collision handling method. We're going to change this to always spawn. So you can see we've got the actor and then we've got spawn collision handling. We're going to change this to always spawn ignore collisions. And then from there, we should be good to go to build. And then once we've done that, the project launcher, now we've got this. And then by the book, we're gonna hit launch. Awesome, so we built the project back in the headset. So I've already got loaded out of course out. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go to settings, use hands, now, back into hand tracking. So we move to resume, like that. So here we've got the controls, hands, we're back in, and we're good to go. So, let's open it up. Try and pick one up. It's a bit jumpy, but it's a new plugin. Either way, you can see we've got full hand tracking, it's working properly. So that's pretty much it. You're good to go. You can drop it in, play around, see what you can do with it. But another shout out to Ryan. Great plugin. It's especially useful to cover us over till we get an official one, which is quite nice. But um for now. So if there's anything you want to see, drop a comment below and I'll check it out. And then see where we can go from there. If you liked it, press like. If you're new and you haven't made it to the channel before, if you want to subscribe, you can keep up to date with all the new videos. I'm trying to do more tutorials based on virtual reality and Unreal in general. But in the future, that might change. We'll do mix up a little bit, desktop stuff here and there, but a bit of everything. And then we'll see what we can do from there. All right. Bye, guys.